Welcome back, friends and family. Today, Lowrider Magazine, February 1984. With all due respect, I do love Lowriders, Bombs. I do love Continental Kits. I myself own a car. I hunted it down that came from the dealership equipped with a Continental Kit. And I am very, very proud of that. I love Continental Kits and I always wanted one. And I do love the artwork on this one, but why? Why put a later Continental kit on a 40s car? That really bothers me. I mean, if you think about all the cars that GM produced through the 40s, not so many because of the war and all that, but they're all, they have the previous lines. Just think about a business coupe, a fastback, a German helmet, they don't need a Continental kit. Why? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I, I, I just had to get that out because I stared at this. And yeah, I, I hope you're cool with that. So let's get this started. As always, if you want to read something, I try to get everything in the picture. So just hit the pause. And I hope everything is focused. Yeah, and it starts like this. I shouldn't even judge other people's cars because of my cars, they all look like shit. I used to own a 72 Grand Prix. I'm sure I shared it with you guys. If not, I'm gonna post a picture somewhere. Mine looked like hell, it looked horrible. It was a fun car. The I love those, those engines, the 400, 400 combo. Man, this thing was torquey, it hauled ass. But uh, yeah, anyhow, there we have another Pontiac where all the custom guys, they try to rob the, the center bar to put in their Chevys. Sometimes that looks really good. Cleans it up. And uh, there you can read it. I don't know what kind of car that is. 65, 66. I have no idea. I lost all my knowledge of 60s Impalas for some reason. I know one has a longer hood than the other one, but uh, I don't know. And there we have a Pont, uh, not a Pontiac, a Monte Carlo. As we probably all watch the same movies, I want one. Man Eater, uh, late 70s, early 80s Caprice or Pontiac. Which I think it's nice that the setup it looks it's it's chromed and the car itself that red low conspiracy conspiracy it's still around that club and those wheels those are Campbells everybody wants those nowadays I think they are. And the artwork looks, wow, like, re like really detailed. Almost looks like uh, if you ever come across like the 1970s, 80s uh, Vampirella comics, the covers are always really detailed. Like someone was drawing, like, like painting it like fine art. The inside is a comic, but the the cover always looks like kind of like that, you know, with a panther and some chick. Um, yeah. So they can read. Oh, it's an 82 Caprice and 13 by 7 Zenith. Those are crazy expensive now. So here we have a car show. I don't know where they held this car show. Frontera. Here we have a Chevy, beautiful. I think, I believe that's a Dietrich Weiser, uh, a, a bumper guards and fog lights. And a Kellic way back there. There we have a, is that a Le Cap or Le Cloud? 
I don't know what it is. If you know, let me know how to identify LD cloud or is it just a chopped off roof? It looks like they just chopped off the roof, maybe. Let me know if you know. There we have our 63 rag top. The fender skirts. Those Thunderbirds, I don't know. There was a time that I really hate those cars. A friend of mine told me that some guy sells one for a thousand bucks. That was like 10 years ago. And it it was not the four door with the suicide door. It, it was a two door one. And they look so good from the back. The taillights look so, it's like the, the whole rear has like one big tail light, which looks really cool. But the front, there was always something about the front that really bothered me. But in the end, I really regret it to not like, it could have been a cool low rider. There were a couple like that back in the day in those older magazines, you would see a lot of those. And they make a cool car. And it's, I, I think it's the same base as a Lincoln, what is that? A Mark III? I, I think, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Uh, there we have a 60 Pontiac, which uh, there used to be, I the, the owner killed himself, I think he was out of Seattle or Spokane, so, somewhere up there, and uh, was beautiful. It was all over when Los, uh, Los Bolivados uh, started, that car was all over the place. I think I even have a feature of that car in, in an old DICE magazine or Rolls and Pleats, something like those old little uh, magazines that came out in the early 2000s. Uh, painted by the Harpoon. Pretty car. Really good looking. Yeah. And there we have uh, another Chevy. This thing looks nice. The Lancer hubcaps. Not so many Fultons. Nowadays you just see uh, Fultons and Pcats and stuff like that. There we have a Pontiac. Latinos Car Club in Pueblo, Colorado. I'm not gonna go over this because I have no idea what what they were doing and I just want to talk about the cars but if you want you can uh, go ahead and read everything And they are dancing. I don't want to dance. I just want to talk about the cars. Like this glass house on some classics. And I wish they would have more pictures of, of the roof. And it almost looks like it's two-toned because the roof looks more reddish where this looks kind of orangey. It looks cool. It doesn't say anything about it though, but nice looking car. I, I bet it's uncut. I bet it's just a little bit lowered, no hydraulics. This is how, how most of those cars back then rolled all from Albuquerque. I can't, I can't talk today. There we have some true spokes. Oh no, what is that, a Regal? Looks nice with the the paint on there. A nice color combination. Also from all Kirky.
Hammer Lewis Fashion Magazine. I did not know they had a fashion magazine. I need that fashion magazine. Oh, that's the car from the cover, I think. Oh yeah, it's Lowrider of the Month. It's, I mean, it's a really good looking car on, 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 on true spokes. With a visor, spotlight, fog lights. The, the spotlights are are fake but I do love the gold leaf the gold leaf the pinstriping the color com the the color combination looks really nice and he has some rouse breezes and not those those china things that everybody has nowadays and some fender skirts probably fiberglass but the color combination is nice and the pinstriping. Nice 39. Okay, a Pablo. With Barbara Streisand. Beautiful glass house with a tea top and the paint looks just amazing. Nice looking car. And a classic project. There you have the text. Pictures are so tiny. I wonder who won that car and where it's, it's nowadays. If you know, please let us know. Nice hard top. Pontiac 72 Malibu on true spokes and some flames. It's it's cool to see those cars that now everybody turns into a muscle car to see that as a lowrider. I think most of those cars, all the Malibus and the Chevelles, they make a a nice looking lowrider. They all have long doors, long hoods. I don't know. It really would be nice to see more of those cars turned into lowriders. Like all the Camaros. They like they're so cool and like like isn't it like kind of boring to see always the same cars? You know, nowadays you see all the chi bodies and all the Impalas turned into lowriders, but all the the other cars, they are now hot rods and like muscle cars, where right? they actually would make really nice, really nice custom cars, I think. Does, is that a, I, I can't tell if that's an El Camino or if it's a 59 Impala. Here you see who won. A 
a 69 T-Bird. I, I think that car that we saw on the other page whereas I said that I had the chance to buy one. I think that is a 69 or 70 uh, T-Bird or only 69? I don't, I don't remember but those cars actually are cool. Oh my god, look at that paint. Night Beauty. Wow. What's that? I don't want to miss anything for you guys, but just look at that paint. 78 Kelly, uh, Kelly Coupe de Ville from the San Fernando Valley. 818 in the house. Beautiful paint. Beautiful car. How those colors pop is amazing. Who painted that car? I, 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 taken to Eddie Montana's of California Star Custom Show. Man, that is a beautiful looking car. Oh, and there we have, what is that, a Mercury? 75 Cougar. El Gato. Good looking car in, in that pearl white. Beautiful. On some true spokes. Beautiful. Looks like rockets to me, but it, it, it does look like rockets. And the Continental Kit and Fender Skirts, Cruiser Skirts. This thing looks killer. Another, that's a Ford though. Fairlane or Galaxy? I don't know, let me know if you know. And some Pontiacs and a 55. And this thing looks nice. The antennas, Kragers, and white looks good. And there we have a Chevy. Is that a Chevy? No, it's a Pontiac. A, many Pontiacs in this one. I don't know why those wheels, those are like Firebird wheels or something like that. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And we made it under 20 minutes. That's a new record, I think. But it's it's an 80s magazine. The next one for March will be a late 80s, early 90s or mid 90s or whatever to change it up a little bit because I did so many late 90s in January. So I gonna go a little bit more old school, okay? See you in the next one. Bye.